Hey, what's up guys? Pat for Beat over here. Most of you know me as Pad Music Production. How y'all doing? So today, we're going to be looking at making a Afro swing kind of hip-hop beat in FL Studio. You know, like Afro kind of swing hip-hop track. Like something like Swae Lee type of track really i'm just, I'm just going to create the loops or the drums and the melody i'm not going to create the whole song but just show you the step by step to do it so what you need to do first of all you need to start off with um basically the tempo at being around 200. now because we're in double time means we have to spread everything out double so you know that's that's what it basically means the actual tempo of the track is 100 100 bpm you know beats per minute but um we're going to be running double time so that way we can put more things and f fix more perks and stuff between the actual drum loop so when i say double time this is what i mean so if you run in a drum loop like this if you put it to 100 obviously you would run it something like this and it'd still be the same it's just that because we're running on 200 everything's got to be spread out so we get more space between the actual um, input. It's easy as that. <laughs> so I'm going to be using a drum kit here today called Division Beats Drum Kit. Now you guys can download this for free and once you download it uh, basically you can get it from here. Click on here and just type in Divi, Divi, <laughs> Division Beats and you can just open it up. Got, if you don't know we've got loads of great free drum kits and you can just download it for free once you download it, you get it in a folder um, where you can just open it and drag it over to FL Studio and you'll just get all these sounds that we have for this tutorial. Now, if you have any issues with that, put a comment below. I'll be happy to help you guys you know, get that into FL Studio. But what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for like a nice kind of... Kind of So this is the kind of kick we're looking for, so we're going to put this in, we're going to put in a few different kicks. So we're going to layer two different kicks, so something like this. Just put them to channel one. And we're going to start off basically building the drums. And now, you know, we can just keep that like two sounds. I like to overlay different sounds. And we're just going to go straight to the snare kind of sound. Now, we want something not too strong. When I say not too strong, perfect. Something like this. Okay. And like this. So these are the two sounds we got. So we're going to put these in. Now instead of doing the actual sounds like this. Because we're going to put them onto channel 2. As you can see here on the screen. Um, you know. Just checking. Making sure I'm recording. So you know. Just just here on the screen. You can actually see. The, 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 let me see. I think I got the folder open. That's it. I can actually zoom in now. I do apologize. So here on the screen, you can actually see, um, you know, we've got both of these on channel two, the snares and the kicks on channel one. So that is, you know, pretty easy and really cool to set up and do in FL Studio. So we've got two different kind of sounds now playing. So what we're going to do, okay, just play that. Now, if you've got any loops or anything, just turn them off. You also want to normalize the sounds. Just click on it, normalize the sounds. Now, we're going to take this and move it back a bit. See that? So, this sound is actually looping. So, turn off the loops. And on this first one, we're going to cut off the um, end a little bit. So just see 
So we're just gonna cut, cut it a bit, just like that. So what I've done, instead of making it really long kind of sound, I've changed it just to be bouncy at the start. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the volume up a bit. But what I'm gonna do on that first channel, click on it, I'm gonna add a soft clipper in it, guys. What this does, it prevents it from clipping, giving us max apple. So if we max it, doesn't clip and it sounds better. Nice little punchy kick there. That's a pretty cool little neat trick in the studio to get a really punchy kick. Now what I'm gonna do on the snare, just gonna move the kick down and make sure it's between the three and six because I don't want it to be higher than that. I usually keep my kicks around like four, four decibels which is right, right here and then snare just a little bit lower just like that and on a snare what we can do is uh, we can add a certain um, VST free VST plugin which is called um, doo -doo -doo, where is it Ooh, M equalizer now M equalizer if you click on it it's got a preset called snare drum and this will just enhance the frequencies and make it sound a bit better so if you listen very carefully just lifts it up a bit gives it perfect kind of frequencies what you need for snare and just a little bit of reverb so we kinda got the you know the drum loop now if you guys are wondering where you can get the M equalizer you can go to our website and just uh, search auto pitch And then you can download the actual VST plugin for free on here. Um, you know, it, it actually the download comes with like M Auto Pitch, M Equalizer, and everything. So there's loads of cool things. Just go on our website, search, and type in M Auto Pitch, and then you can just go on there and get that. So that's pretty cool. And the M Equalizer is part of the um, part of the plugin by Mother Productions. Free to use. Really cool. Um, cool stuff in there really cool plugins which you need to check out so we've just done the drum loop and I'm keeping it really simple here obviously I've showed you guys how I actually do my EQ on the kick and the snare because they're very important part of the actual beat and getting the sounds correct is what's very important see a lot of producers just pop in the drums pop in the snare and then the beat sounds crap it's because you have an EQ EQ the kicks and the snare. Why not EQ it straight away when you put it in? So that way, then you can just play around with the volume at the end because you know you've got the EQ right on it. You know what I mean? So it all depends on your work procedure, but I like to just get it sorted straight away so I ain't got to worry later on. Now, this is what we got. So I'm going to put like a quick kind of melody on this. Now, I'm going to use Flex, which comes with FL Studio. And here on Flex, I'm just going to use maybe like, um, let's have a look, maybe some kind of nice little sound. It's actually really cool. <laughs> I might make a beat using that later. So what I'm looking for is like a pad kind of synthy sound. And then use the cut off to cut off most of the... Uh... Ooh, this is what I'm looking for. Let's take the resonance down. is gonna go one don't forget you want to build your melody on a different kind of effect so go to channel 2 and just build it on there like that so this is what we have ready
And then obviously once we put it in, this is what it sounds like. Let's take the feedback down a bit. And obviously this is really high in volume, so what we want to do is just take the volume down a bit of the melody. This could be like the main background melody. I'm gonna overlay it like another kind of similar sound on top of this. So just clone that down, copy it, paste it down, right click, copy, paste. It's kind of overlay another kind of sound. Ooh, listen to that. Really cool. But put it another channel. And then we clone that down once more and overlay another sound. I like to overlay different sounds to get different kind of, to achieve pretty much a unique kind of sound. So I like to put like a perky sound on there as well, to give it like a bounce kind of sound. So this is what we got now, listen. So already, you know, if if I actually was to add, let's say, um, auto tune to my voice and put it on le like low latency, and let's see if we can find the actual key. Oh. as well and put it to like vocal effect so it gives in that kind of you know the push baby you so this is the wrong key sorry na, 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 na. Find the key a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Had to the na 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 na. I take it all. all. Na, na, na. So you kind of get what I mean. But you know, once you actually find the right key that goes with your beat. Na, yeah, you know that. So this goes pretty well. And then you can kind of just mess around with it So you can kind of make a song really Even though we got just, you know, the kick And just a little bass melody You can already start making a song So I don't know, like Dancing in the sun Got me uh, You know me just making it up da 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 I still a, bit, a little bit off, but got work on it. Na na na, na na na, na na na. na. Alright, anyway, I will stop it here. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop it right there. So just demonstrating that you know it's so easy to make a song in FL Studio. So I lead kind of type a track, and let's keep going. So we've got the melody now. 
So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift the snare up a little bit. Bit more reverb. And what we do now is we're gonna add a bit of perks to this, guys. So, um, pretty simple kind of like you know hi hats and stuff. So we're gonna add hi hats and go to channel three. And what we want to do is just select like just two, like I did. Right click, fill every two second step, and just put that in, simply as that. Okay. And then right click on here and go into piano roll. Now, if it's open up really weird, like off side of the screen, just press enter on your keyboard, and that will put it straight in. So you have no issues. Now, looking at this, guys, when we play this, uh, this when we play the hi hats, this is what we get. What we want to do is maybe just Control A to ev like select everything, then hold Shift and just drag it across, and just let go. Okay, so this way we've just dragged it over, which actually makes it double, but it's easier to work with. So we can just work with it like that. And when we play this, this is what we get. Now what we're going to do is leave that play in, and we're going to go up here to Quantitize. So Alt and Q to open up the Quantitize. And I like to use the 16 Pushing Grove kind of preset on a piano roll, which just gives me that kind of bouncy kind of hi-hat sound. See that? And then selecting just the key that's on lower kind of thing, just put a little bounce key. So if you can't do that, just set it set it to step. Just put it in the middle, like somewhere here, just before the end would be cool. So you get something like this. But if it sounds too much, you can move it a little bit closer. Much better. And then obviously once we put that into the actual playlist, this is what we get. And then obviously we want to change the EQ on this. So we're going to go in here, more plugins. And again, I like to kind of add the M equalizer. And on this M equalizer, I like to use a preset. Pretty much, you guessed it, hi hat. <laughs> Saves me doing all crazy things. And just turn the volume down a bit. Now I want the volume to be kind of same with the snare, but just a little bit below the snare. So the snare is here. So I'm just a little, like you know, just five ten percent just below the snare. And then, uh, and I'm gonna change the EQ of this. Take the lows down completely until I'm happy with the way it sounds and I'm quite happy with that so that's how I'm gonna leave it so then what we could do we can add like an open hat kind of sound so we just drag it in see this just drag it in now if it don't play like I've just put it in and you can't really see it don't panic, just put it into the playlist, put it like that, just drag it in. Now if it doesn't play, click on it, okay? It's not playing, so go on here, reset the pitch. And now this will fix it and it will actually play now when you play it. Also just make sure that the loop is turned off and you can turn up the attack of it. Just, just to go like that, so you get a nice little sound. And then we can put that in like every... Um, Every beat, like every uh, two, every two bars. And what I like to maybe do to this is put it into another channel effect and add the bit of reverb to it. And maybe stereo shape this to the right a little bit. See that? So maybe we could add another one right at the end. And it goes. See that? Right at the end. So there we got like a pretty nice little loop there. And then we can add like an open hat kind of sound. Keep it 
pretty simple. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there like that. So it goes. See that? Really cool. Maybe just take that out a little bit so it's not too strong. And change the EQ on this. Take the lows down and make it higher in pitch a little bit. Perfect. There we go. So maybe this sound at the end don't fit in too well, so we just take it off. So as you can see, we just made a really kind of simple kind of sound. Maybe we can put some sh shake kind of sound in this. This is a really nice shaker. So I'm going to just go to a different kind of pattern and just pattern this in. And just kind of have this kind of looping throughout the track. And I'm just going to make sure that I've got the right uh, key set. Okay. Normalize the sound and just make sure that hits hard at the beginning and just set this to 12 now because I know this is my next channel and I want to add a bit of reverb to this and maybe stereo shape this to the right a little bit see that? so we're getting a really cool drum pattern now And now we've, well, we've got the melody, which is right here. We can kind of put, we can put like an 808 on here. So we've got an 808. And we can kind of put like 808 that fits in with the melody. So we can go. Obviously, you make sure the volume is set nice. So I'm going to keep it, you know, the bass really simple and just put that to a copy and paste that to a different thing, a different channel. And there's my bass and I can play it now. And I'm going to take this bass out to like channel 13 and just add the soft clipper on there. And now on the melody we can add like another kind of sound so I hope you guys are enjoying this because I'm because I'm really enjoying this tutorial I hope you guys are enjoying this as well so now we're gonna add like a nice kind of melody sound to this but we're gonna So let's see. So let's see. So we can go into the piano. So we can kind of just hit the first key. Okay. And then we can maybe go up like that. Keep it more simple. Oh, that's really good. I really like that. 
Maybe don't overdo the melody, let the rap part do the melody, you know? I like to be that a little bit mellow, the way I've done it, but... Like this. And then what I'm gonna do is basically just hold shift and drag up to just drag up like that. So like get a double kind of sound. And then we can another another part of the melody to this. And this time we can record something nice. So I'm just going to record anything just for demonstration of this beat. So as you can see, pretty simple melody there, I may just made it up as I went, but I'm going to fix it up a little bit now. So I'm on this kind of same kind of loop at the end, so to for this to go... Duh, duh, keep the same kind of melody but I'm gonna put this double kind of sound on here like that so it's pretty cool but what I'm gonna do turn the melody down and what I'm gonna do on here Just take the velos Just cut off a little bit Just like that So there you go guys, how to make a swirly kind of track in a full studio, obviously you would then just take out the drums kind of thing at the beginning, and the bass, so... You know, and then you would have the hi-hats kind of go out when it goes into the verse. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, if you want to learn more, follow us on my tutorials. I'm just showing you really quickly how to make like a swirly type of beat in FL Studio. So simple to make this kind of genre, as you can see, you know, nice little swing. What we did forget on there is to put a bit of swing to this, so it will sound a bit better now if we listen to it. See that? So I hope you like this. I will actually release this beat because I really like the track. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't, still hit the like button because I love you anyway. <laughs> but apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, check, you know, check us out on Producers Buzz. 
we got loads of great tutorials so yeah you just go on there download loads of great free drum kits i think right now we've got over 60 different drum kits and 23 different fl studio tutorials so this is pav beats you guys can also follow me on instagram um it's pav beats oh, i can't even spell it pap pav beats instagram um, you can follow me on Instagram. Most of you that don't know, I also perform in the bars and clubs and stuff. So, I, you know, like I had a few songs that come out and that. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty well here in the UK. Just, you know, just becoming, slowly becoming an artist. Got a few tracks out on Spotify as well, if you're interested. Uh, there'll be a few tracks on there in a few days. I've uploaded three different other tracks now. So I'll have three or four different songs on there. So check it out. But apart from that, you know, Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon. And uh, yeah, peace. See you later. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.